This matter is before the court on the prosecution's motion seeking life without possibility of parole filed on November 14, 2022 for defendant Ethan Crumbly. The court notes that the prosecution's motion was filed timely pursuant to MCL 769.25 parens 3. On October 24, 2022, defendant pleaded guilty to 24 felony counts, including one count of terrorism causing death, four counts of first degree premeditated murder, seven counts of assault with intent to murder, and 12 counts of felony firearm. Defendant was 15 years old at the time of defense. Therefore, the court is required to conduct a Miller hearing before determining whether to sentence defendant to life without parole or a term of years. The court conducted the Miller hearing and this opinion in order follows. A, be, a basic precept of justice requires that placement, <clears throat> excuse me, requires that punishment must be proportionate to both the offense and the offender. In Miller, our United States Supreme Court struck down mandatory life without possibility of parole sentences when the offender was under 18 years old. The Supreme Court has long recognized that children are constitutionally different from adults for sentencing purposes. Sentencing a child to life without parole is excessive for all but the rare offender whose crime reflects irreparable corruption. First, this court finds that defendant's age is a mitigating factor. There is no dispute that at the time defendant committed the underlying offense, he was 15 years and six months old. The court will focus its analysis regarding defendant's age based upon the testimony of Dr. Daniel P. Keating, who was qualified as an expert in adolescent brain development. The evidence does not demonstrate to this court that he wants to change. Further, the court notes and consider Dr. King's testimony regarding rehabilitation. Dr. King testified that defendant's brain has not reached full maturity and therefore a defendant can be rehabilitated. The court gives this conclusion little weight because it only focuses on defendant's brain maturing. It does not appear to consider other factors such as how will prison affect defendant's rehabilitation or defendant's family support or lack thereof, or if defendant even wants to be rehabilitated. In short, the court cannot find that there is a possibility that defendant can be rehabilitated based solely on his brain maturing. The court finds defendant's possibility of rehabilitation is a neutral factor. In conclusion, the court finds that defendant's age and home and family environment are mitigating factors. The court finds the remaining factors neutral. This crime is not the result of impetuosity or recklessness, nor does the crime reflect the hallmarks of youth. Defendant carefully and meticulously planned and carried out the shooting. Accordingly, the court, having weighed all factors and noting the Michigan Supreme Court's admonition in Taylor, finds that the prosecution has rebutted the presumption by clear and convincing evidence that a sentence to life without parole is a disproportionate sentence. As such, this case will proceed to sentencing on December 8th, 2023. That is the order of the court. With that, the court will enter this order forthwith. Is there anything else we need to address for the record this morning? 